105 meteorologist Alina Lee. It is a red alert day. Mm -hmm. uh, when exactly is this weather moving in? I think the uh, widespread heavy rain will start to fill in by the second half of the morning and then just continue kind of into the afternoon. So six o'clock is the start of the winter storm warning that's in effect for our viewing area and it'll last all the way through this evening into tomorrow. So that's kind of the timeline, at least from four to six is when we'll start to see things kind of de deteriorate across the area and that trend kind of continues into tomorrow. So if you have to travel, just make sure you're careful, you're safe, you've got your weather kit ready. Uh, in case you get caught in these, uh, at least the rain and then the sleet and snow expected tomorrow morning. For now, we're looking at dry conditions across most of the viewing area. Our KB Complete and the CityCam network showing you it's mainly cloudy across the metro at this point, but we're tracking some showers and storms off to the south and west of our viewing area, now leading into the very edge of it. Moving into Ottawa and Garnett, you can see some heavy rain and some lightning associated with these thunderstorms. So again, this is all creeping north and east along I-35 here and and moving into the southwestern edge of the metro within the next half hour or so. So it is headed towards Johnson County now. Now the main system is still off to the south and west. This low pressure is going to ride along this front as we head through today. And that's what's going to bring that transition from rain into freezing rain, sleet, and then snow. So for now, we've got our forecast track up, giving you an hour by hour look of when you can expect that transition. For now, it looks like plain rain up until noontime, at least for most of the metro and areas south of I-70. The farther north and west you live, you might start to see that transition a little early. So freezing rain possible as early as noontime for Atchison and Maryville and anything uh, in the northwestern side of Missouri, northeastern portion of Kansas. Looks like the widespread heavy rain going to spill in across most of the viewing area where temperatures are still above freezing at this point. After sunset, all bets are off. That's when our temperatures will be closer to freezing and that'll set the stage for that freezing rain potential here in the metro. And then once we get into tomorrow, we'll see even colder conditions, which will lead to a chain transition of snow just about everywhere you see and steady snow showers that'll accumulate between three, possibly as high as six inches in some spots. Once the system clears our area, which won't happen until at least seven or eight o'clock on Saturday, Sunday morning should be mainly dry but there is the potential of seeing maybe a brief snow shower returning. I don't think that'll be the big issue. Flash flood watch is also in effect for the southeast corner of our viewing area where rainfall accumulation could amount between one to three inches high. So certainly going to be a mess out there tonight into tomorrow on the roads with our Security Bank seven day forecast though. Hey, next week turns even colder, so really no big relief in sight for the temperatures. At least it looks mainly dry. All right, speaking of the roads, we got to send things over to